Yo boys, what's up? Welcome to this video. So what happened? Monks are nerfed and we're nerfed hard. Let's see how hard we're nerfed. We'll go through all the classes. We'll see what happens. So restos, they're getting buffed. All healing increased by 5%, not in PP. We like to see that shit. Embrace the dream healing increased by 25%. Luke's in the soul now has a 1.5 out of 3%. It was a 1.2. So that's a little bit of buff here. So they got a little bit buff. And Rest of Georgia already S tier. Good job, Blizzard. Death Knights, Soul Reaper damage increased by 10%. Icy Talon's duration increased to 10%. Unholy. The Ghoul is increased to 20%. A lot of damage decrease here. Um, plate duration increased to 10%. Was even more. Buffs. Raping increased the damage of Soul Reaper Scourge. Death Call to 25%. Below the was 20%. It's a big buff to Unholies, and they're already doing a lot of damage. Evokers, Decinerate damage increased by 15%. Okay, they kind of needed that, but a little nerf on some abilities, they didn't get that. Okay. All ability damage reduced by 3%. I would say that's a bad change. They have hard healing abilities, which should be nerfed, and above consistent damage. They nerf everything. Okay. Everything increased on Fire Mages. I can see that. They're slagging a little bit. Makes sense. And this Frost Mage damage increased on a lot, a lot, a lot of shit boys, which makes it no sense. They're doing a very good amount of damage. They're going to be insane now. All ability damage reduced by 3%. What? What? They're saying they want to buff consistent damage and then they nerf all damage by 3%. This makes no sense, man. Let's go. I mean, ah, God damn it, boys. Increase the mana cost of power shoot to 5% of the base mana was 4. Okay. And then a lot of buffs here, boys. Buff to almost every ability in the game for them. And S priests are doing very good so far. They're S tier. Like, what? Okay, let's go down to rogues. Now cause Echo Revenant to. Two additional combo points was three. A little nerf there. Nerf to all 3% damage and all three rogue packs. That's really good. Fatal connections damage bonus for weapon poisons reduced to 10%. That's good. So all rogues got a little bit of nerf. Enhancement shamans got nerfed. Okay. Where's DH? I don't see DH so far. Hope they're coming. Affliction gets buffed. Affliction damage gets buffed. I was playing a lot of threes today and a lot of twos, and Affliction always tops damage. So this buff makes absolutely zero sense. Chaos damage increased makes sense. They're slagging. It's a good change. All ability damage increased by five percent, three percent. Mortal damage increased by five percent. Execute damage increased by ten percent. I was playing against Arms Warrior yesterday, and I don't know what the what the fuss is about because they were doing very good amounts of damage. I don't think this is what they need, man. Let's see what Fury gets. Set bonus, execute critical chance, bonus increased to 25%. They got buffed? That's crazy. Let's see, player versus player, boys. Lifelong healing reduced by... That's very good. This was taking for 40k yesterday when I was playing. In PP combat. Bloom. This is the one. This is the one that was taking for 40k. So now it's going to be taking for 36k instead. We'd like to see that. Okay, boomies get buffed all around with their with their damage belt. That is a very good thing to see. Lead of the pack now heals with 3% of max health, almost 5%. That's a very good change, but I don't see a change to their DPS, which should be definitely reduced by at least 3% if Windwalkers are getting reduced by 3%. Because they're, they're doing way too much damage, especially in 3s. Okay, Holy Paladins, mana reduction now reduced by 35% was 40. That's good because they were they were getting uh, Oom very fast. Mana reduction now reduced by 5% was 15. Good thing again, they were they were getting Oom very fast. Oh, okay, so Shadow nerves here actually. Reduced the duration of Void Volley. Or, oh, that's so nice. That's when you get, when they put the things on the ground and they stun you for 3 seconds now to only 2. Very nice change. Reduce the damage of Void Volley by 30%. Very nice change. Okay, so it seems like they buffed their consistent damage, but are nerfing their burst, which is a good change, in my opinion. Uh, they reduced a little bit of healing. They reduced healing for all of these. That is very nice. They're not dying right now, Esprit, at all. So that's a very good change. 
Shadow of Death reduced by 20%. That extra Execute, which is also a very good change because it is hitting for 50, 60k. Blackout damage increased by 50%. Tiger Palm damage increased by 50%. I mean, I think they're clueless, boys. I think they're clueless. Buffing Tiger Palm and Blackout does nothing when you nerf every single ability by 3%. It does nothing. Or Fist of Fury needs to get buffed by 15% for this. Our Rising Sun King needs to get buffed for 15%. And our Whirling Dragon Punch talent needs to be buffed by 100% or some shit. It is terrible right now. It needs to be looked at. Mana Redemption reduced by 15% was 5. Yeah, that makes sense. They're not ooming. And here's the big one, boys. Here's the big one. Strike and Lord damage reduced by 30% in PvP combat. <sighs> This was our uh, only way of killing people, Strike of the Wind Lord. I would like to see it nerfed if every single else got buffed, but it didn't. Only Tiger Palm and Blackout Kick got buffed by 15%, but we got nerfed by 30% on our biggest ability. Let's see what they wrote. Strike of the Wind Lord and Thunderfist are dealing more burst than we're comfortable with, so we are adjusting them and increasing additional sustained damage. Well, this is a lie. They nerf everything by 3%. Buffing two abilities, we don't we don't play around at all. Such a weird change, boys. Such a weird change. Numbing poisons attack and cast speed debuff effectiveness reduced by thirty percent. Very good change. Death marks damage dealt by duplicated points reduced by thirty percent. Very good change. Secret technique. This is a, what I love to see right here, boys. This was doing way too much damage. This is reduced by thirty percent. It's very nice. Shamans are getting a little buff. That's good. They're not healing a lot. Enhancement reduce the damage of elemental blast. We love to see that. Uh, Primal wave cause your next lightning bolt to hit all targets with for only seventy five percent. Okay, this was also one shotting. These two were one shotting, so we really like to see that. Resto increased heal and rip time. That's good. They're not healing as much as they should. Reduce the damage of the elemental blast. Okay, that's the same as the other one. That's very good. Elemental blast was one shotting. Warlocks, no more gains, 10% additional stamina. Oh, that's what we like to see right there. Affliction, soul one reduced to 6% in PvP. Drain life no more grants and absorb when healing at full health. That's good. Soul one health zone is reduced to 20%. That's very good. Okay, so they get a buff on all their damage, but a little nerf on their uh their survivability. We like to see that to be fair. But I think the buff on their damage was too much. Um, the cooldown of Fell Hunter is now reduced, or is now 60 seconds with 30. Is that the only change for Demonology? Demos are S tier right now for sure. They're doing crazy amounts of damage, and their control is so good. So this being the only change really surprises me. I thought they'd have more changes. So they're still going to be very, very crazy. Okay, Destruction is getting buffed everywhere. That's good to see. They're lagging. Um, Warpaint now reduces damage taken by 5% was 10. That's good. So, our ability for Furry Warriors is, are crazy. They just don't die. And Protection. So, there's no DH in here, huh? No DH changes or Arcane Mage changes. That's kind of crazy. But at least we got some nerf changes. Wind Warriors. It is what it is, boys. It is. It really is what it is. We, uh, we got... Yeah. Struggle Wind Lord. Are we... Are we... Are we a finished class, boys? Are we dead? We'll find out in the following week, but it's not looking good, boys. It's not looking good. They buff our consistent damage by buffing Tiger Palm and Blackout Cake, but nerfing everything by 3%, then nerfing Striking Wind Lord by 30%. Striking Wind Lord is not going to do what we, what we what it's doing now. It's not going to execute people at 30%. I think they should nerf it, but they should buff everything else way more than they did. So... Big L for Windwalkers right here. Big L. I don't think we'll be finished, but I think we're going to drop down to between B and C tier. Probably just B tier, to be honest. But yeah, boys, that's a little video there. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, boys.